have made it out of Chinchilla. We've finished the three months, kind of. Sophie has, I haven't, but we'll ignore that for now. All week I've just been saying it's my last. Last time working on a buggy. Last time working on a hook machine. Last time I'm turning this kettle on. Last time driving the bus. Uh, yeah, and then the final day came and I got a bunch of water chucked over my head. So that was good fun, but it's a nice little send off anyway. We have made it to Wumba. Just had a lovely ham and cheese croissant with hash brown. Last night we had a goodbye meal with everybody. There was like 30 people there. We had to keep extending the tables because it was, yeah, getting out of hand. <laughs> but it was a great, great evening with everybody. Really enjoyed it. Um, had one too many drinks because then we had to get up at 5 a.m. today. Uh, and we're both a little bit hungover. But we've made it to Swamba about another two hours to get to Brisbane now. Then we kill some time before Darwin. flights in like an hour and a half and then to Darwin so let's go get checked in made it to Darwin um, four hours no yeah four hour plane journey yeah it was long enough and we're both running off very little sleep so it was very tiring, wasn't it? So now we've just got an Uber to take us to our hostel, and I think we're just going to call it a night because it's already well, it's already 11 o'clock, and we got three hours sleep last night, so we are dusty right now. literally two beds so sort of yeah two beds and let me just show you the charging situation we've got going on here got our block we've got our portable charger dangling and then my phone dangling and Sophie's just up there and literally one one little plug in this whole room so we're making the best of it yeah. Right. We've got a neon scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Obviously, you shouldn't be using him. Two people. <laughs> I'm gonna try this out. <laughs> Two people for one scooter. And oh, recording. Oh yeah, and one-handed. Right there we go. Just wanted to take a quick moment to thank Craig for letting me basically steal his drone for this whole sort of five or six weeks that we're going to have now. Um, however, the first day I've brought it out, we've come to the harbour at Darwin. Uh, I thought, oh, that'll be a lovely little picture to go over the harbour, um, the marina, and then fly across because it looks like some sand dunes out in the uh, sea. And then I've forgotten my spare SD card. So, yeah, great start. Well, yeah, again, thank you, Craig. Uh, I'll look after it. You can trust me. You can trust me. Got a little friend here stopping Sophie from getting down the steps. <laughs> she will not move. Come on. Second day in Darwin, we have done zero. Went for a run this morning, um, made a nice little breakfast. Got to be up at 6 a.m. for the flight. 
<laughs> Uber's there. The contact lens is a bit dry. It's 6 30 and we're heading to the airport. Time for Bali. Finally. Pack up. <laughs> Here we have bagels and crisps, coffee. We had some food left over from the hostel. We thought, well, that'll do for breakfast this morning. Two, three hour flight, and then we're finally back in Bali. Just like that, we're back in Bali. Um, already had a couple of days here just to ride around. We got our bike back, had a bit of a scoot around, check what's new. It's crazy how quickly they build things here. So we've got Moll and Kirk coming on Saturday, Alan Quinn coming Sunday, and then we're heading to the Gilly Islands. So yeah, we'll leave that for the next one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.